Um, hi, I'm Ezgi. Uh, from I'm a PhD student from the University of Sheffield. Uh, today, I will talk about one of my study called Causally Related mm -hmm. Environmental Risk Factors for Child Internalizing Problems, a Systematic Review. I'm from Psychology Department, by the way. Internalizing problems uh, such as anxiety and depression problems present a common and serious problems for uh, children, society, and families because uh, they have many burden effects such as impairments in school life, increased risk of suicide, etc. Uh, to reduce the burden effects of internalizing problems, it's important to strive for prevention studies. And understanding causally related risk factors is one of the most important aspects of prevention studies. Uh, by identifying those risk factors, we can reduce them and strengthen uh, the protective factors so mental health problems can be prevented. In the literature, there are a variety of risk factors identified for child internalizing problems. Uh, they have found associated with internalizing problems such as genetic predispositions, harsh discipline, maltreatment, parental divorce, etc. However, is the evidence of these risk factors are really causally robust? Actually, developmental psychology studies I, uh, I rely on cross-sectional studies, and cross-sectional studies are uh, giving able to give very positive correlation, but they have many limitations for causal inference because they wouldn't uh, they they are only measured the variables once in a time. That's why they wouldn't be able to give direction of, direction of effects, which is very important on the causal inference. And also, although the researchers can adjust for the measured confounders, uh, they wouldn't be able to control unobserved variables. Uh, so I have a request from you, actually. Would you able to uh, stop sharing your microphone, please? I'm hearing ringing phone. Jana, your phone, please close the, your microphone. Um, okay. Uh, although this studies, yeah, no, I'm sorry, but I'm now. Um, some of the uh, unobserved variables, uh, such as uh, genetical confounders, wouldn't able to uh, control by using cross-sectional studies. Randomized control trials and laboratory experiments seems like a gold standard. However, uh, many of the risk, fa risk factors such as harsh parental discipline wouldn't able to uh, examine by using experimental setting because of the ethical issues. And also, uh, experimental settings uh, cannot inform us on the nature of the associa association outside of the experimental setting. These are the some limitations of randomized control trials and experimental settings. On the other hand, because experimental studies provide an alternative approach to us, uh, as they are able to control treat like pr uh, properties, something like uh, some characteristics uh, and genetical confounders, they are better uh, than cross-sectionals uh, to control such a kind of confounders. Uh, that's why they would inform us uh, on the risk factors more robust. Monosgotic twin difference studies, sibling comparison, adoption studies within individuals, propens score, etc. Uh, they are cross-experimental studies mainly. And in the literature, uh, there are only a few of studies systematically reviewing environmental risk factors associated with child mental health problems. For instance, Jame et al. synthesized uh, studies regarding to parental characteristics and examining them using genetically sensitive designs. However, to date, no study has comprehensively addressed all risk factors examining causally informative study designs, especially for internalizing problems. That's why this study addressed this gap and we undertook a comprehensive systematic review of environmental risk factors, exploring them through causally informative study designs to understand their impact on child internalizing problems. 
Uh, search was conducted in December uh, 2021. Uh, Web of Science Psych Info Medline Scopus has been used as a database and search term concept was including participants, psychopathology and study designs that I mentioned before. Uh, and as a study selection, uh, general population included uh, from zero to 18 years old age included and at least one major environmental risk factor and uh, outcome variables was anxiety, depression, and internalizing symptoms. Also, causal informative study designs, cost experimental study designs I mentioned used, uh, but randomized control trials uh, included in the case of manipulated risk factor has been included. I mean, something like family income would be able to manipulate it uh, ethically. So that's why uh, such a kind of randomized control trials we have in the literature, we have included very few studies like that. And as an exclusion, studies using genetically sensitive data but didn't conduct genetically sensitive analysis excluded. Uh, 12,743 uh, studies we end up with, and after the elimination, we end up with uh, 98 studies to synthesize. Um, I have uh, divided uh, the risk factors regards to their context uh, to be able to discuss easily. Uh, so, and the part of social disadvantage, I mean, studies related to social disadvantage was including neighborhood poverty, family income, parental psychopathology was related to parental mental health uh, risk factors, parental substance use, including smoking, uh, illegal drugs, antidepressants, etc. And stressful life events, divorce, parental loss, maltreatment, parenting, and peer bullying and extras. Extras was the uh, studies not able to include it uh, for any of the other six uh, broad categories. That's why uh, totally different um, topics they are including. I will give a very, very summary of my uh, results just to give a, a comprehensive understanding. So I wouldn't able to explain each of the risk factors uh, separately because of the limitation of time. Uh, and here, as you can see, uh, and we have found a variety of methods uh, study used, like fixed effects methods with an individual adaptation, sibling design, uh, etc. So variety of study designs has been identified with the studies. And parental depression was the most studied one with 16 studies. Uh, and it was followed by peer bullying with nine studies. However, as you can see uh, here, the other studies has been studied very less uh, with cross-experimental studies. Uh, and also the least studied studies are, uh, risk factors are smoking and divorce with two studies. But as I mentioned, uh, the others are also not much as a risk factor studied with cross-experimental design. Regarding to the... Uh, how the how, how much uh, how many environmental uh, how many studies found uh, significantly environmental um, actually almost all of the risk factors has been found uh, predominantly environmental uh, for instance the, for the depression uh, out of 16 studies 14 of them has been resulted significantly environmental so it was telling that parental depression environmentally uh, mediated the uh, risk uh, internalizing problems. And also for the peer bullying, 100% uh, of peer bullying studies has been resulted environmentally significant. And almost all of them has been resulted predominantly environmental, except for substance misuse categories, including alcohol, smoking, and medications. And also family functioning studies has been, um, didn't result with predominantly environmental, for instance, for the alcohol, uh, one out of three studies has been resulted only environmental and the others like that. Um, I examined which countries has been studied also. Um, so only 13 studies has been uh, studied. Uh, so and the most studied one US with 44 uh, studies and it was followed by UK, Norway and the least studied one, Iran, Greece, Finland, and Chile. Uh, so as you can see from here, Western-based countries, um, th there are more 
I mean, th there are very least Eastern countries. Uh, some additional observation. Uh, some risk factors have been examined within only a limited developmental span uh, or exclusively during the prenatal period. For instance, prenatal alcohol, parental alcohol use and smoking were only assessed during toddlerhood. So that's why, which is making comprehensive understanding very hard. Um, and also, as a discussion and conclusion, this is the first comprehensive systematic review of cost experimental studies of environmental risk factors. And uh, all those studies are resulted predominantly environmental. Uh, many of the risk factors have been studied very less to make a robust conclusion. That's why we need more cross-experimental studies. And also um, more causally informative uh, research covering a wider developmental span is needed uh, to have more comprehensive understanding for the, each developmental span from childhood to adolescence. And also, uh, regarding to cultural differences, effects of the risk factors would change. For instance, some Eastern countries would seem uh, poor parenting, harsh parenting is something uh, normal uh, compared to Western countries. Maybe results of parenting issues would change in these countries. I don't know, but uh, that's why I think uh, as you can see, our results is uh, Western-based countries, especially the US. That's why I think multicultural per perspective needed to able to give uh, more better understanding about risk effect of risk factors on child mental health. Also, studies were based on maternal reports. Uh, however, this may be should this may resulted with measurement bias because depressed mother uh, have this depressed mother tend to see their children more problematic compared to uh, non depressed. That's why uh, studies with multiple reporters should be conducted more. Uh, yeah, in general, we have more studies except for the depression and peer bullying. The other uh, risk factors were very less and uh, we need more cross experimental studies to, to have more uh, robust conclusions about uh, risk factors on internalizing problems. And uh, other studies should point uh, what I have mentioned in the discussion also. Thank you for listening.